Welcome to Missouri Valley Conference Basketball. Today in men's action from Carver Arena in Peoria, Illinois, we have the Bradley Braves and Missouri State Bears both at 9-5, and 1-2 one and two in the Missouri Valley Conference. A very pleasant good day to you. I'm John Rooney along with Adam Emmenecker, a player of the year in the Missouri Valley Conference. It is days with Drake. Adam, good to have you with us. And what we have in this game today, two teams trying to find their footing in the league. Yeah, and two teams that started really well. Missouri State started 5-1, five and five and one. Bradley 6-0, and oh, had a few stumbles in the middle of the non-conference, but looking to get right here into January in conference play. A couple of the players we're going to be following closely today. Let's begin with Missouri State's Cesar Edwards. And Edwards had quite a game off the bench for Dana Ford on Wednesday. Yeah, a scoring explosion for Cesar Edwards. Missouri State has had five guys over 20 in a game. Cesar Edwards, the newest in that to that club. You see the stats there, 25 points, eight rebounds. His ability, he's got a big body on the inside, but his ability to put the ball on the deck and knock down shots from the perimeter really help open up things for Coach Dana Ford's offense. And if we're going to talk about Bradley, we got to start with Connor. Hickman he can shoot it he can defend he's an improved playmaker and coming off an ankle injury that made him sit out a few games during Bradley's struggle Connor Hickman looks so comfortable in his second game back against Valparaiso 28 points you see the six threes there he really is the key that unlocks the Braves on both ends for coach Brian Wardle I mentioned the Bears and Braves are trying to gain a foothold in the conference coming in at one and two in the league we have the Bears against the Braves from Peoria, Illinois, and all of the action is straight ahead. The thing I miss most about being away from St. Louis is the food. I'm a creature of habit. I've had a lot of people come and visit. I always take them to the place I grew up eating. We have the best food this country has to offer. I wouldn't trade this for anything. Trades, they work out sometimes. There's so many places to see, like Los Angeles, Houston, OKC, Phoenix, and the Bay. We love our new house. We just have questions. Oh, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Your State Farm agent oh. can help you through all the unexpected moments. I wish Bora Bora had a team. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. It's more than an attraction, it's a destination. Spend a day doing it all. Can we go for a ride? That's amazing! Hmm, so is this? It's all here at St. Louis Union Station. Plan your visit at stlewisunionstation.com. For nearly three decades, there have been celebrations, excitement, moments, and memories. 30 years of Arch Madness at Enterprise Center. And it begins here in downtown St. Louis. The 2024 State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Men's Basketball Championship, presented by Valley Sports Midwest and Great Southern Bank, tips off March 7th through 10th. Celebrate 30 years of Arch Madness at Enterprise Center. Get your tickets now at archmadness.com. I just love being back home. I, I just feel like there's nothing like it. We have great people from St. Louis. Midwest nice is a real thing. You walk past a stranger, hey, how you doing? Those things go a long way, and I think that's really genuine. The Missouri Valley Game of the Week is brought to you by State Farm. For surprisingly great rates, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By Great Southern Bank, understanding what really matters. By farmer-owned Prairie Farms Dairy, celebrating 85 years of feeding American families. And by Grinnell Mutual Insurance, trust in tomorrow. Welcome back to Peoria, Illinois. Bradley hosting Missouri State today at Carver Arena. And the lights are back on after the spotlight introduction of the Bradley starting lineup. Along with Adam Emenecker, I'm John Rooney as we take a look at our keys to the game, a production of Live by Lowe's St. Louis. And Adam, what do you have for us today? For Missouri State, John, my precious. This is a team that's been really good on defense, good rebounding, but last in the conference in assisted turnover rate and turnover margin. Have to take care of it today. Part of that is getting consistent offense, get the 50-50 balls and second chance points. And for the Bradley Braves, got to get off to a strong start. Eight and one when leading 
at the half this year, 28 and two the last two years, getting off to a good start important for him and grit. Last year, top 20 in scoring defense in the country, top 55 in rebounding margin. They're a little behind that pace this year, have to get back to it to get success in the league. And precious and few are the moments we get to share with our fans here in the Valley. There you go. As we go over our starting lineups for the Missouri State Bears and the Bradley Braves, Alston Mason, he's had uh, quite a start for Missouri State, but they have Cesar Edwards starting for the first time since November the 20th against Abilene Christian. He's in. Damian Mayo Jr. is out because of a concussion. And there is the lineup that they like to put on the floor here for Brian Wardle with Connor Hickman coming back from his ankle injury. And these are some great athletes starting out this game on the floor for Missouri State and Bradley today. And Malavi Leon's defensive player in the year league a year ago, preseason first team all league as well. Here we go, and the ball belongs to Bradley. We hope you enjoy it today as we bring you the action from Carver Arena. Number 10 is Connor Hickman. Leon's out high, very talented player. On the inside, the spin move and a block attempt by Moore with a strong move to the basket by Darius Hanna. Uh, take an early concerted effort by Darius Hanna getting right to the rim, getting to the free throw line. And the foul went against Donovan Clay, who was also underneath. Closed captioning for today's game is made possible by Farmer Owned Prairie Farms Dairy, celebrating 85 years of feeding American families. Hanna with a free throw, another one coming. And he is 17 out of 35 from the free throw line for the junior from Milwaukee. Yeah, and you look, John, he's got pretty good mechanics, pretty good follow through, and continuing to improve as a free throw shooter, just about his average, one out of two. But Bradley keeps the ball alive, and Hickman is on the outside. Oh, he got the step inside, but too high off the glass. And right there is number one, Austin Mason, who came to the Missouri State program by way of the Oklahoma Sooners program. Here's Clay looking to the corner. Mason has that rim out. The rebound for Hannah. And a pretty good look that time for Austin Mason, who's just been fantastic over the last few weeks. Fourth leading scorer in the league. Leon's looking for Hannah. Hannah kept the pivot foot, but he threw the ball away. Too tall for Connor Hickman on the sideline. And you see that Bear defense does such a great job getting underneath you, stopping dribble penetration. Dana Ford is the head coach of the Missouri State Bears in his sixth season, 98-71. He's gone six and five head-to-head -head with Bradley while being the head coach of Missouri State. Donovan Clay in the Missouri State from Valparaiso. And he's trying to muscle his way in with 10 on the shot clock. And that ball was going up, but Hannah wouldn't let him get to the rim. And a lot of contact. Look out. In transition. He got to the rim. And how about that big fella? Defense on one end, John. What do you want to do? As soon as you get that possession, run the floor. Darius Hanna with the throwdown. And that's where Missouri State has to be conscious about getting back in the transition game. Nice touch there from Mason. A nice move, Austin Mason able to get in the lane. His ability to shoot the three means he's a tough cover because he's so good getting downhill and getting to the rim. Here's Hickman spinning. Mm. Oh, the flip over the shoulder to Leons and a foul. Leons is foul as he tried to get a shot away. Now we'll take a look at the both good defense for both of these teams and look at this Donovan Clay nowhere to go. That's a lot of contact. I think a pretty good no call by the official on the other end. Darius Hanna running the floor showing off his bounce up to the rim the two handed throw down. Ravage basketball after the second foul on Donovan Clay two fast fouls on one of the most important players on the roster for the Bears. And that's big. Donovan Clay at six foot seven, six foot eight, a Swiss Army knife, able to facilitate on the offensive end, guard, can guard five positions on D. Probably the most valuable player on this Bear ball club. Duke Dean has that roll off, and it's Rafe Ayers with the Missouri State rebound. Ayers number 11, a junior from Arlington, Virginia. Mason with the step back. And number four, Cesar Edwards. Curious to see how aggressive Cesar Edwards is after his scoring explosion so far sticking with the offense. And the shot from the corner would not go down from Matthew Lee. 
Here's Dean. Nice move and a behind the back dribble and he sticks the shot. Duke Dean's first field goal. That was impressive ball handling and then straight up with the shot. And that balance, John. I mean, just the balance to be able to take that contact, the strength it takes for Duke, Duke Dean, one of the leaders of this ball club. And the shot is short over Atlason. Dean running the floor for Leons. And Hickman will bring it back out. Working on Mason. And we have a whistle. The foul. And Mason committed the personal. Uh, we're going to take a look at just this ability in transition. Look at the attack. Cut off your first move, cut the second one. Duke Dean able to take the contact. They list him at five foot eight. Duke Dean's not tall, right? But you see the bounce off his jump shot, the ability to get off the floor. Finishing the lane, Duke Dean, that was pretty in transition. I love his energy, Adam. Oh, yeah. He brings a lot of it to the court and a lot of leadership. And we were talking with Coach Wardle about his two glue guys out there with Dean and Hickman. And he saved a backcourt. Jonovic, number four, big guy at 7-1 from Serbia. 260-pound sophomore giving Bradley some size. And here he goes. He's fouled. I uh, traveled uh, trying to get to the basket and drew the contact. Oh, you see the big fella showing off a little of that athleticism, that screen and roll game right now, giving Missouri State a little bit of trouble. Fortunate that that time Yonovic traveled. Matthew Lee for Edwards around the Mason. Mason getting a step inside, and that is blocked. Yonovic. But Missouri State was able to stay with it. And it's those type of second chance points. We mentioned this Bears team needing more consistent offense. Finding the 50-50 balls, getting those second chance buckets are so big. And that's what Coach Edwards did the other night against UNI. Yes. That's his first field goal. Jonovic bumping, moving in on Edwards for the hook. And off the glass, and there's Edwards for Missouri State. Mason in the front court, stopping, popping short. Hickman runs it down in the corner in the backcourt. And you see Duke Dean changing hands on the dribble, watched by Ayers. Dean with the fadeaway over Ayers, counted. That's hard to stop, Adam. Boy, and he just does such a great job, John, getting separation, using body contact, getting enough. We talked about his size, five foot eight, right? Has to figure out ways to use his athleticism, get separation. Just a masterful move by Duke Dean. What a hard pass by Lee that went off Ayers' hands out of bounds. And it's going to be Bradley's ball when we come back. But Duke Dean, a senior from Shreveport, Louisiana, came here by way of Troy University. 7-4, Bradley. T-Mobile built a 5G network so powerful it goes beyond the expected. And now T-Mobile 5G internet for homes and businesses is here. Also here. Here, 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 even here. Whatever shape your home or business is, T-Mobile is bringing high-speed internet to towns across America. Only 15 minutes to set up and just 50 bucks a month with no exploding bills or annual contracts. Riblets, shrimp, and boneless wings are back for just $14.99. Applebee's, you know, that's eating good in the neighborhood. Not everyone's training for a gold medal. Not everyone wants to go hard or go home. Whatever you're starting, run your own race. Because doing something is everything. Get started with two months free. Visit OnePeloton.com. Terms apply.
Bradley is three for six from the field. Missouri State two for seven, seven for Bradley in the early going. And our bird watch is presented by Great Southern Bank, understanding what really matters. And here's some fine candidates for that award at the end of the season. With Alston Mason, you're watching him today for Missouri State. Tucker DeVries, he was picked as the preseason Larry Bird Trophy winner, 19.2 points a game. Isaiah Swope with the Sycamores. Well, the Sycamores are playing well Man. for Josh Sturts. Yeah, the Sycamores have been great. And as Isaiah Swope, a big reason why. Had a big game against Michigan State. But all three of these guys, John, we could see any of them on the podium at the end of the year. That's always fun to follow that throughout the season and then witness the award at Arch yeah. Madness in St. Louis. And there's Alston Mason right there. Uh, the junior from Phoenix, Arizona, 6'2", 175 pounds. At 12 points against UNI, a career high 34 against Lindenwood on December 19th. After the timeout, here's Duke Dean for Bradley, trying to extend the 7 4 lead. And a lot of switching on the perimeter for the guards in Missouri State, trying to prevent dribble penetration, but also staying matched up on threes. And Bradley making a concerted effort to go to the offensive glass, unable to finish, but getting the deflection out of bounds. Ryan Wardle. The coach of the year in the Valley last season, his ninth season with Bradley, played his college ball at Marquette, finishing up under Tom Green. 144 victories in nine seasons with Bradley. And we have a mix up underneath with that entry pass, and the foul is called against Damarion Birch. Yeah, it looks like they got Birch for a moving screen that time. Just a little overly aggressive. Did a good job getting Yonovic open. Just tried to hold that screen a little long, moved his feet. I thought a good call by the official. So a missed shot and a foul for Birch off the bench. On the scoop. And they couldn't score it with Lee getting the penetration. And Lee just so masterful off that pick and roll. Such a good decision maker and well, does a great was there. Does a great job getting his teammates open that time. Got all the way to the rim, just couldn't finish. Leons. And back the other way. Mason. Lee. The ball fake. Dishing low. And inside the basket goes for Benson. And Benson doing a good job. Matthew Lee, we just talked about it. Gets in the paint, right? Looking for his teammates. Benson that time ready to catch it, go up and finish. In and out for Dean. But the follow is good. Leon's first field goal, and he was in the right spot for the rebound and the bucket. You know, that's part of what makes Malibai Leon so good. We mentioned defensive player a year in the league a year ago, and Leon's is one of the guys that just makes all the little plays, the offensive rebounds, the deflections on the defensive end. First guy in MVC history, 50 steals, 50 blocks a year ago, continuing to work on his offensive game. And Duke Dean committed the personal foul. Uh, take a look at it here is just Leon's fighting for that offensive rebound. No quit in number 14 in white. And Ahmed. Yonovic was able to box out. And off the miss, here come the Braves. Pickman switching hands on the dribble in the front court. And an offensive foul with Hanna extending his arm, committing his first foul, giving the ball back to the Bears. And one of the things, John, that's difficult when you're a big and you got a guard on you, you're used to making these little moves with your arms, right? But when you put your arm all the way around on a guard, it's up by their neck. That's a lot easier for the official to see versus a big. That time, pretty clear call, the offensive foul on Hannah. On that wraparound on Nick Kramer. So Hannah with the foul. Edwards traveled. Boy, good defense there by Almar Atlason. Boy, it's been physical down there, hasn't it, John? I mean, we've the entire game. Yes, absolutely. The ball gets inside, gets in the painted area. Officials allowing a lot of contact on the interior. And both coaches said, "Get ready for yes." It hard fought game today. Uh, these are defense first teams, right? And, and that's that's what you get when you're playing against a defense first team. Physicality is part of their mentality. Hickman straight up, but he's a little long on that. The rebound by Tyler Bay. He averages 2.8 rebounds a game for the Bears. Mason. And traveling the call with airs going up and coming down with the basketball. 
And I, could, I couldn't tell. That's across the court from us. It looked like Ayers kept that left foot down on the floor. The official right on it, right in front. Now Bradley with the ball and a three-point lead. Hickman on the handoff for Birch. And a foul inside. They're doing a pretty good job of getting the ball into handoff. A lot of guard action, dribble handoff, high screens. You're seeing the two screens set up almost every set down the floor for Bradley. And a big part of what Coach Brian Wardle is trying to do is allow that roll man to have open space in the lane, minimizing the help on the backside. To your point, John, so far, pretty successful. Four points for Hannah. He's two out of three from the line. 18 out of 37 from the free throw line, averaging 11 points a game. This one's in play. And rolls in. Hannah, 23 minutes at Balpo. He had 10 points. He had four rebounds. It's 11 6 in favor of Bradley. Hickman stays with Mason. And that is tipped away and then saved by Bay. Near steal by Christian Davis. And then Bay lost it out of bounds, goes off his leg, back to Bradley. And that active defense by Bradley throughout the first eight minutes, attacking shots, not allowing anything easy at the rim, and you see the active hands on the perimeter force another turnover. Now uh, Tickman stepping to the front court, the junior from Bloomington, Indiana. Hickman has room, straight up, straight down. Boy, when his feet are set, John, he is such a good shooter. A nice little set with the flare screen drawn up by Coach Brian Wardle. And Hickman, pure, nothing but net. A 7-0 run for the Bradley Braves. Ayers having some trouble, and that shot goes down for a three ball. Nick Kramer at 10 points, going two for three from behind the three-point line. That was in the UNI game. And that's a three ball. Six for Hickman on his last two shots. He's playing in his 11th game. Averaging 31-7 a game coming off an ankle injury. Edwards, and that was blocked and a foul. Appleson committing the personal foul. Well, finally some threes are beginning to drop. Hickman, open. You give him that kind of room, look what happens. And on the other side, Nick Kramer, out of St. Louis University with a three ball for Missouri State. Moving day has arrived and college hunks hauling junk and moving has you covered. Honest. Uniform. Nice. Knowledgeable. Service. College Hunks hauling junk and moving. Hey, sports fans, next time you are in need of lodging for the game, look no further than the Holiday Inn Express in East Peoria, located on the riverfront and 10 minutes away from Bradley University. This hotel is a comfortable night's stay. Offering all that you need, including a complimentary breakfast and indoor pool access. Located near the Bass Pro in East Peoria. Call or book online today. This is one of those dreams where you can't stop sweating. You're not moving very quickly and you're getting chased. <laughs> you know the one where you showed up late and you think this is the new norm. And you open your eyes and it is. That's where. What's the best part of turning 100? You. Our neighbors, we've had the opportunity to help throughout the years. It's been our privilege to get to know you, to understand what's important to you, whether it's simplifying your banking, financing your dream, or saving for your future. We'll continue to be here, finding new ways to provide personalized support for every customer and every community, now and every day forward. Great Southern Bank, celebrating 100 years of support. Learn more at greatsouthernbank.com. 
Today in the Valley, the Braves are hosting Missouri State 17 to 9 in favor of Bradley. As we check out our men's basketball standings, a presentation of Holiday Inn Express and Sweets Riverfront, the preferred hotel of the Missouri Valley Conference in Peoria. For your next trip to the Hilltop, call 309 694 9800. And there's Drake right along with Indiana State on top and Murray State won today to go three and one picking up their sixth victory an impressive win at Evansville. Yeah a 25 point win Rob Perry 17 points six rebounds in that one and how about six and nine overall for the racers but three and one in the league had a really good game against Bradley earlier that really started Bradley on that losing streak earlier in the season and here both teams are one and two in the valley coming in. Only five field goal attempts for Missouri State. And here is a free throw with another one coming for Cesar Edwards. Four points for Edwards in his first start since November the 20th against Abilene Christian. Again, Damian Mayo Jr. hit his head and is on the concussion protocol and did not make the trip for Missouri State. He does a little bit of everything for them yeah. and plays yeah. a lot of minutes normally. He's almost like, you know, for NBA fans, you know, P.J. Tucker, right? P.J. Tucker's a guy that gets on the floor, does everything on the defensive end, toughness. He's always in the right places, doesn't necessarily score a ton. That's Damian Mayo Jr. as well. Plays a lot of minutes for Coach Dana Ford. They're going to have to fill that void by committee. And the travel on Hannah gives the ball back to Missouri State. A six point lead for the home team, Bradley Brave. Alston Mason. Directing some traffic. Benson out to accept the pass. And 15 on the shot clock. Mason gets bounces right. low. What a pass inside. And Bay gets his first field goal. And a heck of a cut. Good identification by the freshman Bay. Sneaking behind the defense. Heck of a find by Austin Mason through a lot of traffic. Around the Dean. Quick ball movement to the corner. And off the follow, Hannah scores, giving him seven. He was there to get the offensive rebound in the basket. The second time we've seen almost an uncontested second chance point for Bradley. That's got to drive Dana Ford nuts. Lee with the miss. He was wide open. Duke Dean hurrying to the front court. Dean in on Lee. Here's Hannah with the left hand. And you know, John, that was one of the things we saw Coach Brian Wardle and his team work a lot on and shoot around. And guards get in the paint, having that step in on the backside for the bigs. Darius Hanna doing a good job finding an opportunity for his guard to get him the basketball. Oh, Lee had the open shot, but had that funnel out. Dean to the front court. Here's Davis. Looking for Hickman. Plenty of time on the shot clock at 15. Hickman with the left hand and the follow by Hannah. Oh my, are the Braves getting to the offensive glass. And Darius Hannah, very active on both ends. Concerted effort though on the offensive glass. That's two putbacks in the last two minutes. And here's what we're talking about, Bradley. Picking up missed shots and turning those into points. And look at the activity, both on ball and off the ball, spreading the defense. When you get a shot blocker, Benson, leading shot blocker in the Missouri Valley, when he goes to try to deflect it off Connor Hickman, you need somebody to rotate back and box out Hannah. The Missouri State defense two spread. Hannah, the beneficiary, the two-handed throwdown, his second dunk today. And some great camera work by our crew to pick that play up off the miss and the putback by Hannah. And Bradley's Darius Hanna has his 10th game in double figures this season. And he has scored the last six Bradley points for a 23-13 lead. And, and here's what we're talking about, winning six games and losing five. But they've won the last three, winning by a little more than 19 points. Uh, defense starting to get a little bit more together, and it really is kind of the hustle plays, like we just saw, getting second chance points that make the difference for this brave ball club. One and done for Missouri State. Good find. Here's Davis. A 
9-0 run. Christian Davis shooting 37% overall behind the arc. He makes it a 26-13 lead. Mason short. Dean is there for the Bradley Braves. And the pace of Bradley on both ends, the pace and purpose just a little higher right now, helping build this advantage early in the first half is the screen and roll again, John. We talked about it before. Leaves the middle of the floor open. Jonovic that time, the finisher. An 11-0 run now for Bradley. Coming down to eight minutes to go in the first half. And we have a block called. Duke Dean with his second foul. And John early we saw Donovan Clay within the first minutes pick up two fouls. Now Dana Ford checking him back into the game as Bradley has built up a 15 point advantage. You mentioned the 11 0 run 15 point advantage 28 13. There's still eight to go in this first half. Donovan Clay a got to watch with two fouls. And there is Clay off the inbounds pass just back into the lineup. We talk about the defensive player of the year last year, Leon's. Well, yeah. Clay was right there with him in the voting. Yeah, and, and two guys that are as versatile as it comes on the defensive end. Their ability to get block shots, deflections, guard up positions, guard down positions. Speaking of guarding, guarding someone's got to guard that guy, Connor Hickman, his third three of the first half. And Hickman had just enough space. Edwards scores and a foul inside on Davis. Well, we are starting to see some three-point field goals. There's a wide open shot. Christian Davis, Hickman, give him a little room. That's what will happen. The Braves are sitting pretty right now at 31-17. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. Australian Open. Hits different from the networks of ESPN. Hockey stars will shine brightest in Toronto. The 2024 NHL All-Star Weekend, February 2nd and 3rd on ESPN, ABC, and ESPN+. Plus. The competition's never been better. This is just spectacular. The stars have never been brighter. That's our move. Women's College Hoops on ESPN and ABC. PGA Tour Live on ESPN Plus. From the Pacific to the playoffs, every tournament starts on ESPN Plus. Stream your own way with four unique feeds. PGA Tour Live on ESPN Plus. NHL All-Star Weekend on ESPN, ABC, and ESPN Plus. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Point field goal attempts after starting 0 for 3 today to lead 31 17 over Missouri State here in the first half in Peoria, Illinois. And Ryan Davis is working his final day here with the Missouri Valley Conference as he works a number of roles with the conference and he'll be moving on a statistician extraordinaire for us on Missouri Valley TV. He has worked as the timeout coordinator has worked men's and women's basketball tournaments the information going out there and the social media a little bit of everything and I'm telling you Brian and his cohorts at the Valley yeah. do a spectacular job. They don't have the big staff of a power six conference. Yep, yep. But boy, they sure turn out the information and they turn out the quality of the product like the power six, no question. And the second oldest league in the country, John, and that, that doesn't just happen, right? There's a lot going on behind the scenes. Ryan, one of the better ones, 
happy for him moving on to other things. Definitely going to miss him. That we are. Oh, he'll be back from time to time, I think, after he settles into his new job. But we sure appreciate his help and all he's done for us over the years. So off the Hickman miss, Missouri State comes back, trailing 31 18. And we'll see how Missouri State's trying to attack this Bradley defense, looking for mismatches. Donovan Clay in the game, a facilitator and a score. Lee will take the shot. And white shirts around the basket. Leon's on the outlet for Hickman. This Bradley defense doing a great job not allowing Missouri State easy lanes to the basket, forcing Missouri State to stay on one side. Not very many ball reversals. Oh, that goes off Yonovic's hand. And we have a foul called as no one could really get a grip on the basketball. And the foul was on Yonovic. And that the 17 foul on Bradley already sending Rafe Ayers to the line for one and one. So because that was a loose ball possession, now that player control foul with the loose ball is a one on one on the other side for Ayers. Rafe Ayers, number 11. 31 19, Bradley. In the Valley, Missouri State beat Evansville, but lost to Drake, and then lost to you and I by two at home on Wednesday in Springfield. And boy, had a great chance. You were doing that game, right? John had a great yeah. chance at the end of that one. Kramer, an open look at the end, down two, just a little bit long, the three caromed off the rim. And for some reason, you and I has had Missouri State's number in that building. Here's a shot for three. No good for Davis. And it's a hell ball. The possession arrow will give the ball to Missouri State. A little bit more spirit, right, from this Missouri State team after that under eight timeout. Just seeing a little bit more purpose, a little bit more of a battle on the defensive glass. Trying to get back in this ball game. On the drive, switching hands and a foul. And stay tuned for our halftime report, sponsored by State Farm Insurance, a proud partner of the Missouri Valley Conference. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And Leon's with the foul. Malavai puts number zero Chance Moore on the free throw line. And Chance Moore can give this Missouri State lineup a bounce. Yeah, Chance Moore, a guy that can score it a lot of different ways. You always got to close out to him as a shooter. He's got good size, six foot six, had 28 against Evansville, hit five threes in that game. He's a guy that can go off for 20 in a hurry. One more shot here, four more. And that rolls off. Jonovic looking for a little help, and there's Dean. We have a foul called against Moore. They were pressuring the issue, trying to get a 10-second call. Yeah, we are getting real close. And, you know, one of the things that college basketball has shifted to in the last five or six years is having the shot clock be the 10-second clock. You saw it up at 21 right before that foul. Bradley was going to be real close getting that thing across half court. Yonovic is out and back in. There is Hannah with Hickman out front. And six minutes to go until halftime. Leon's scores it. And just really good action by Coach Brian Wardle with those baseline screens. A little bit of single double action getting down. Getting Leon's the ball with a nice curl cut. Using his length in the interior. Here's Clay in on Leon's. A lot of contact. And the basket, and one. And how about the stick to itiveness for Donovan Clay finishing that one on the offensive end? But a big part of the story of the first half is what we've seen offensively from Bradley. Built a 10 point lead. Look at these screens. Got start the single. Davis runs off it, sets another screen for Leons, and just does a good job using his length against Edwards. Good patience, good spacing. 
Donovan Clay, the and one answer in the other direction. And now the last few possessions, especially after free throws, Coach Dana Ford going to a little bit of full court action. Some 2-2-1, two, two, trying to change the pace, force Bradley into some turnovers. And a 9-2 run for Missouri State, getting the Bears back into the game. 33-24, Bradley. That's the exact answer Coach Dana Ford would want to see, and no surprise coincided with number five, Donovan Clay, checking in the basketball game. Chance Moore watching Dean. A side jump that won't go. And the follow, talk about following your shot. Davis has five. And a block. And a foul underneath. Quick going the other way. This is the game. We're getting a lot of pace in this game. You know, I, th I thought these two teams, defense first teams, this might be a grinded out battle. Right now, 35 points in the first half for Bradley. Missouri State willing to get up and down as well. I, I really like the pace both of these teams are playing. Chance Moore attacking the rim with bad intentions. Chance Moore. And Mason with the free throw here, giving him three, but, or excuse me, Chance Moore on the line with his second point. Chance Moore, one more here in play. So two points in the first half for Chance Moore. A 10 point lead for Bradley with 452 and counting in the first half. Christian Davis. Here's Hannah. Davis. He'll take the hook shot. And that is a shot clock violation. Right, just great defense overall. The switchability of Missouri State and the headiness of Donovan Clay cutting off drive lanes. Just doing a great job helping and recovering, not allowing Br Bradley to get their feet in the paint. Cade Hartke, 6'2", 190 junior from Lombard, Illinois, out of Lombard South, is in the lineup, number 12 for Bradley, and has given Coach Wardle some pretty good minutes yeah. off the bench. Well, just a guy that you know what to expect. He's going to come out, play hard, be in the right spot. That's how you earn minutes from coaches. Not only is it your performance on the floor, but making sure you're managing expectations that time Lutke gets the rebound. And the miss by Hickman. Hannah with the offensive rebound. Here's a shot for three that is no good for Atlason. The step back, Kramer, air ball. And Connor Hickman willing to slow it up a little bit. Bradley again had a second chance opportunity, unable to finish. And Missouri State playing loose on the offensive end. Kramer with the air ball. Hardke, Hickman at the point. Eight on the shot clock. Hannah in on Edwards. Three on the shot clock. Hannah lets it fly off the glass and has 13 in the first half. Coming off 10 points in 23 minutes at Valpo. 13 points, you mentioned it already. A heck of a first half. Darius Hannah doing his work in the paint. Cesar Edwards at the point. Clay working on Hannah. Hannah working on Clay. And Clay earned that one, didn't he? Man, just the battle over and over. We've seen that Donovan Clay in that position three or four times already in this first half. Gritty bucket for number five. Hickman, quick pass in for Hannah. Oh, running all the way in and scoring. Allison has a field goal and he'll go to the free throw line as Chance Moore got it. How about the freshman showing off his ability? Not only is he a guy that can shoot it on the perimeter, he could put it off the bounce as well. How about the little up fake and showing it off, trying to put Chance Moore on a poster and one opportunity for Atlison.
mvc-sports.com slash gear, the official online store of the Missouri Valley Conference with officially licensed Valley gear from all 17 MVC championships, including Arch Madness and Hoops in the Heartland. We've got it all. Shop shirts, hoodies, hats, and more to celebrate your team's title. Visit mvc-sports.com slash gear to get yours today. Since 1907, the Valley runs deep. Indiana State University Sycamores conquer through questioning. They fly in to save the day. They master the medium. They wow the crowd. They fight for others. And more of them choose to stay right here in Indiana, living, working, thriving, and contributing to what makes this place great. It's what makes us Indiana's State University. And why we say real risk takers, real opportunity makers, and real game changers wear blue. With Adam Emmenecker, I'm John Rooney, and we are at Peoria, Illinois, Carver Arena. Good to have you with us for our Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week. Just looking at the rebounding in this game, Adam. 22 for Bradley, wow. eight rebounds for Missouri State. Uh, normally a very good rebound yeah, Bears yeah, team. Yeah. But here's Duke Dean, six rebounds for Dean and only eight total rebounds for Missouri State in the first half. And you mentioned it, John. I mean, Missouri State, this is the leading rebounding team in the Missouri Valley. Yeah, this, this is a team that usually does a re rebounding margin team, excuse me, and Duke Dean, a concerted effort early. But how about also seven offensive rebounds for Bradley, leading to eight second chance points, a big part of this brave 12-point margin early on. Allison is at the free throw line, and he scores a three-point play. I hear Bradley again coming out with a little one two one one a little bit of diamond pressure kind of mix up being aggressive and being a little bit passive just seeing if Missouri State will gift him a turnover. Nick Kramer with the inbounds pass. And then the backcourt chance more. Alston Mason in the front court under 230 to go until halftime in our State Farm halftime report. Mason. For Kramer on the run and he was short he hit the bottom of the rim a scramble for the loose ball out of bounds to Bradley there was a timeout taken no it looked like out of bounds off of Kramer good out about there, there, John yep and, and great job at the rim the verticality of Atlas and not allowing anything easy and then the scramble on the floor both these teams getting after it and with the way a foul can be called now yeah the blocking yeah. foul player has to go straight up to have a chance to make a good basketball play which I love I love that principle of verticality of allowing these guys to make finishing plays and I think the movement away from some of the charging calls is the right thing to get vertical basketball is a vertical game right that's where it's fun we saw it a minute ago with Atlason at the rim on the other end as well an air ball from Nick Kramer Almost like he was anticipating some expecting a little contact contact on the shot. Christian Davis, Yonavik, and that spins off for Cesar Edwards. And that's poked away by Christian Davis. 23 on the shot clock for Missouri State to inbound. Benson back in. 
Spelling, Cesar Edwards. Edwards has scored seven in the first half. Yeah, continuing a good scoring half for Cesar Edwards, coming off his career high against Northern Iowa. But with 75 seconds left, 13 point margin, can't have any more empty possessions for Missouri State. And the adjustment wasn't good enough to get the basket, and a foul is called underneath. And the Bradley faithful unhappy with the contact on one end thought Jonovic should have been a beneficiary of a call on one side but Chance Moore showing off the full complement of his athleticism bouncy as he gets to the rim and draws that contact. Two shots here for Chance Moore and Moore is two on a four at the free throw line today. All air on the first one. Seventy-six 76% shooter. Yeah, and he's a guy that can knock it down from three as well. Uncharacteristic for Chance Moore. Someone must have left a window open. And he gets the roll there. So three times he's gone one for two from the line. Jonovic goes out. Free throws really have been a bit of a savior for Missouri State. Almost 10 points, nine points in the first half out of their 28 have been from the free throw line. A 40-28 lead, Bradley with one minute to go until halftime and high off the glass, no good for Birch. Mason in the front court. Fifteen on the shot clock. Mason spinning into the lane and a ball on the floor. And that was snapped right to Birch. Hickman on the run. With the right hand, he made that look easy. His first two point field goal in the first half, giving him 11. How about the patience, too? Not getting sped up. Connor Hickman, just a veteran play out in transition, building this Braves margin to 14. Missouri State playing for the final shot of the first half. Austin Mason has scored two points in the first half. And the shot by Moore, and that's off the glass at the horn. And at the half, 42-28, Bradley. My goodness, the first half belonging to the home team, Bradley Braves. And it took a while for them to get started behind the arc. But they were able to get to the basket. They were able to out rebound Missouri State and have a comfortable lead at halftime. Live sports. Try fast and always free drive up at Target. This is an emergency. That man is trying to kill you. If you want to live, you have to trust me. What is going on? I can see the future. Let's try that again. Those girls have no idea the power they can unlock. I will kill them first. Get down! Web exclusively in movie theaters February 14th. What? Reese's Big Cup with caramel? Or caramel? Is it caramel? 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 I don't know. Anyway, however you say it, just say it and then eat it. The 2024 NHL All-Star Weekend is right here in Toronto. Home of the CN Tower. Standing taller than these guys in that. Unbelievable. Spectacular save. With cuisine tastier than moves like these. It's not real. If you show your best this weekend, you might end up here. That's hockey, baby. So welcome to Toronto. The 2024 NHL All-Star Weekend. February 2nd and 3rd on ESPN, ABC, and ESPN+. You the competition's never been better. This is just spectacular. The stars have never been brighter. That's our move. Women's College Hoops on ESPN and ABC. Go! 
PGA Tour Live on ESPN Plus. Everybody out on the golf course. From the Pacific to the playoffs. And every hole in between. Phenomenal stuff. It's pretty cool. Every tournament starts on ESPN Plus. Stream your own way. With four wow. unique feeds. All the energy. These guys are having fun. All the personalities. Think Scotty's into it. All the unexpected. All season. PGA Tour Live on ESPN Plus. NHL All-Star Weekend on ESPN, ABC, and ESPN Plus. PGA Tour Live. Every tournament starts on ESPN Plus. From Peoria, Illinois, our halftime report is sponsored by State Farm Insurance, a proud partner of the Missouri Valley Conference. Have questions about your insurance? Then State Farm is there for your what ifs. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or go to statefarm.com to get a quote right now. Our first half highlights are made possible by explorerstlouis.com. And Cesar Edwards was able to pick up seven points in the first half for Missouri State. Well, he was a hard worker on Wednesday night in the two point loss to you and I in Springfield. Here in that basket and got to the free throw line. But he's a versatile player. Yeah, we mentioned his 25 points against Northern Iowa. Some of that was isolations on the top of the key. Now he's doing the dirty work, getting the ball near the basket. And it was Darius Hanna in the first half. Hickman knocking down a wide open three. Hickman three of five from three in the first half, up to 11 points and four rebounds. And just so nice for Coach Brian Wardle to have Connor Hickman with the ball in his hand. Steadies this offense, adds a dimensional threat from three point land. And our first half highlights made possible by Explorer St. Louis. The Valley is making its way to St. Louis for Arch Madness 2024, March 7th through the 10th. So start your planning right now at explorestlouis.com. With Adam Emmenecker, I'm John Rooney here at Carver Arena in Peoria, Illinois. We had a physical first half, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I mean, both of these teams making a concerted effort, whether on screen and rolls or just side post-ups to try to get the ball inside. We had a lot of people, physicality around the rim. But, man, Bradley, a really good first half. Did a better job spacing the floor. Darius Hanna, 13 points, really paced the Bradley Braves. And they were able to get the ball to Hanna. Hanna was active with the offensive rebounds when the three was going in early. Yeah, the rebound battle huge in this one. We mentioned Missouri State, one of the top rebounding teams in the league. How about Bradley? Plus 13. Plus 13 overall in rebound margin. Seven offensive rebounds that led to eight second chance points. And the biggest halftime deficit so far this season for Missouri State with Bradley leading at the half today, 42 to 28. Coming up next on our State Farm Halftime Report, Dave Snell will have a feature with Connor Hickman of the Bradley Braves. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Try fast and always free drive up at Target. Guys with bad jeans, are they worth it? Jeans go with everything. They go with nothing. nothing. Dudes, get the new only pant by Fabletics. Awesome. Want one pair of pants that does everything like magic? Breathable cooling tech. Always stretch. Secure phone pocket. Bro, I'm in an only pant ad. Water repellent. <laughs> Work, golf, date night, hiking, biking. It's so everything. See this stretch? You forget about the deal you're getting. It's our biggest sale of the year. Get the only pant for $19 at Fabletics.com. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On 
ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. There for me, you know, kind of like my rock. Took me to every basketball game, took me to every practice, took me to a lot of school functions. I mean, he was just somebody I could always rely on. And uh, I think that's very, it was very big for me growing up. And uh, I, yeah, I just, and I still rely on him for everything advice. I call him every day. I mean, we're always just talking for an hour at a time. And yeah, I'd say my dad was my hero growing up. Connor Hickman always had a work ethic. He came in with a great work ethic. His high school coaches, his trainers, his family established that with him. Um, it's just been little things with Hick, details, uh, adjusting to the college game, getting a little bit better each year, adding one or two things to his game. And uh, he's a worker. He's tough. He's smart. Uh, he's become a vocal leader every year. I think that's what I'm most proud of is seeing his development as a leader uh, over his time here. And so, uh, you know, we need him on the floor. He's a huge, huge part, probably the number one or two most important player on our team for success. And uh, that speaks volume of, of where he's come as a player. Uh, Hick makes life a lot easier for me and I think I do the same for him um, just his voice just his his wit his aggressiveness um, his intelligence on the court he's a very very smart player and very very smart person so he just opens up the floor for all of us I mean Hicks Hicks are the smartest player probably both sides of the floor and I mean even more than that like he's you know, our leader along with Duke. Um, I think a lot of us feed off of the work that Hick puts in. For the Missouri Valley Conference Network, this is Dave Snell. Our player profile was made possible by the 2024 State Farm NBC Men's Basketball Tournament. Make plans to celebrate 30 years of Arch Madness at Enterprise Center in St. Louis, March 7th through the 10th. For more information, visit archmadness.com. We're at the half of our Missouri Valley Live sports. The world's largest sports book in Las Vegas is now right at your fingertips here in Illinois. Download your new bookie today at circusports.com. Start betting like a pro from anywhere in Illinois. Try fast and always free drive up at Target. PGA Tour Live on ESPN Plus. Everybody out on the golf course. From the Pacific to the playoffs and every hole in between. Phenomenal stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Every tournament starts on ESPN Plus. Stream your own way with four wow. unique feeds. All the energy. These guys are having fun. All the personalities. I think Scotty's into it. All the unexpected. All season. PGA Tour Live on ESPN Plus. The competition's never been better. This is just spectacular. The stars have never been brighter. That's our move. Women's College Hoops on ESPN and ABC. Hockey stars will shine brightest in Toronto. Hockey game is the best game you can name. The 2024 NHL All-Star Weekend, February 2nd and 3rd on ESPN, ABC, and ESPN+. Plus. The 2024 Pro Bowl game. This year's stars show off their best moves in the skill show. Plus, the AFC and NFC meet again in flag football. Touchdown. Skill show February 1st on ESPN. Flag football and more skills February 4th on ESPN and ABC.
Tournament starts on ESPN Plus. Stream your own way with four unique feeds. PGA Tour Live on ESPN Plus. The Australian Open hits different on the networks of ESPN. Women's college hoops on ESPN and ABC. So, you know, what's a good formula? You want to shoot a better percentage, make more threes, and out-rebound the opponent. Well, check, check, check for Coach Brian Wardle. And, you know, I, I think the way I would summarize Bradley in the first half, very purposeful. Dean and Hickman using the pick and roll, getting it in the paint. We talked about Darius Hanna as well, his 13 points, and did a good job. Active hands forcing Missouri State to be a little bit rudderless at times offensively. You see one of 10 from three, but it was the free throws that helped Missouri, keep Missouri State in this game to close that first half 14 point margin here at, at halftime and the biggest lead for Bradley was 16 at 749 to go in the first half and we're getting ready for the second 20 minutes of play stay with us moving day has arrived and college hunks hauling junk and moving has you covered honest uniformed Nice. Knowledgeable. Service. College hunks hauling junk and moving. This is one of those dreams where you can't stop sweating. You're not moving very quickly when you're getting chased. <laughs> you know the one where you showed up late and you think this is the new norm. And you open your eyes. QC, that's where. MVC-sports.com slash gear, the official online store of the Missouri Valley Conference with officially licensed Valley gear from all 17 MVC championships, including Arch Madness and Hoops in the Heartland. We've got it all. Shop shirts, hoodies, hats, and more to celebrate your team's title. Visit MVC-sports.com slash gear to get yours today. Since 1907, the Valley runs deep. The Missouri Valley Game of the Week is brought to you by State Farm. For surprisingly great rates, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By Great Southern Bank, understanding what really matters. By farmer-owned Prairie Farms Dairy, celebrating 85 years of feeding American families. And by Grinnell Mutual Insurance, trust in tomorrow. Peoria, Illinois, the home of the Bradley Braves. And we're at Carver Arena, a lively crowd here today, very much into this game as it was a terrific first half for Bradley. But now what does Missouri State have to do to stay in this one and get back in the game with Bradley? You know, I, th I think a big part of it, and this is going to sound funny, John, but it's just, it's the hustle plays. It's the 50-50 balls, not allowing second chance points and offensive rebounds, gaining a couple of them on the other side. It's going to be the little things to chip away. And if you're Coach Dana Ford at halftime, what you're talking about, take this 14-point lead, get it under 10 by the under-16 timeout, break this game into small chunks. Bradley with the lead and the ball after our halftime intermission. Dean number 21. Number 14 is Malavai Leons. Leons guarded by Donovan Clay. 
Oh, the backdoor pass. And I had a little trouble gathering it in. And then the steal. Here comes Mason. And the lob is too high, but saved in the corner. Here's Clay dumping low for the dunk by Benson. And really the first time we've seen a miscommunication like that on the Bradley side. Duke Dean there, the mismatch against Donovan Clay. You send the double. Both Benson and Cesar Edwards on the floor at the same time right now, getting a little more length in the middle for Missouri State. Here is Atlason. And he got the roll. Atlason has six. His first three point field goal today. 45 30 in favor of Bradley. The hook pass right to Atlason. Leon spots up. That rims out. Donovan Clay will bring it up for Missouri State. But you see again just the purpose of this Bradley offense doing a great job creating spacing getting open looks that a really good look from Alibi Lance. Here's Edwards working his way into the lane getting the contact and he'll go to the free throw line. Now that's just a grown man move from Cesar Edwards taking on the freshman Atlas and look at that the ISO getting over to the other side no help defense coming. Crossover to one side, drawing the body contact, the hoop and the harm, an opportunity to get to 10 points at the free throw line for Cesar Edwards. And Christian Davis comes in replacing Atlason, who leaves with three personal fouls. A three point play there for Edwards, giving him 10. And how about Edwards? He was in double figures a couple of times earlier this year. But now on a tear 25 last game 25 points eight rebounds against Northern Iowa already in double figures here in this one. The fifth double figure game for Edwards as that ball is tapped out of bounds. Missouri State will play the ball in trailing 45 33. You have to make the most of every possession when you're down this far right now for Missouri State on the road here in the Valley. Absolutely. What you're looking for is building a little bit of momentum and a little bit of confidence and empty possessions are OK as long as you get the right shots and get the good spacing is good job on the backside by Hannah covering up that lob threat. Long outside shot and that short for Mason. Here comes Dean pushing the ball and Austin Mason struggling so far just one of eight from the floor only two points for the fourth leading scorer in the league. Oh getting a step all the way to the basket. Davis has seven points. And, and so you look at that right and you think that's just a reaction but that was one of the things coach Brian Wardle was working on in the shoot around telling Christian Davis hard rips hard rips through getting all the way to the rim as the Bradley faithful not happy with that foul ball. Take a look at this for Christian Davis coming off that screen Duke Dean kind of sets a little bit of a brush. They were talking to him about using his quickness getting downhill that time able to finish with the right hand. Alibi Leon's picked up his third foul, and Missouri State will inbound. Ahmed Jonovic comes off the bench, number four. And now the two big lineup with Hannah and Jonovic as Leon's goes to the bench. And in heavy traffic, that's Clay. He has nine. Now the second time, John, we've seen that under basket out of bounds. Clay faking one way, coming back towards the basketball. This time a little more contested. But four points for Donovan Clay just on basket out of bounds. And he's four for four from the field. That ball is tipped. Edwards trying to gather it in. He does. And then throws it away. He thought he had somebody in the corner. I thought Randy Heimerman was the guy that was going to catch that one and make a play. Or Chevy Chase is the invisible man over there. Flash making an appearance in this one. The black jerseys of Missouri State. Can be a little confusing sometimes with the black and white stripes of the officials. And Duke Dean. Number 10, Connor Hickman. And got a mismatch on the inside. Good switch there for Donovan Clay. Getting Matt Lee out of that one with Jonovic. Dean letting it fly for the baseline and a shot clock violation. Trying to pass to the baseline for Darius Hanna. 
Missouri State down 47 35 with 16 34 left in the second half. And Brian Wardle advocating. He said just on the other side, we had that lob threat with a little bit of a bump underneath. Why don't I get this call the other way? Not very happy on the sideline as the Braves coach, Brian Wardle. Alston Mason with just two points today. Play way off. Out of bounds to Bradley. That was right in front of us, John. You could see that one off his hand, just not smooth for Donovan Clay. Air ball. The rotation was good. Rotation was good. Enough on it to no. get the ball to the rim. A little bit of a slip to look off his palm. Got his fingertips behind it, but not the same power with the elbow. Dean scored four points with six rebounds in the first half. Hannah cross court pass for Hickman for three and that's off it was short and then saved at the end line nicely by Jonovic. Jonovic was able to get Bradley the ball watch this fading out of bounds and then off Edwards 47 35 Bradley in the valley. The thing I miss most about being away from St. Louis is the food. I'm a creature of habit. I've had a lot of people come and visit. I always take them to the place I grew up eating. We have the best food this country has to offer. I wouldn't trade this for anything. Trades, they work out sometimes. There's so many places to see, like Los Angeles, Houston, OKC, Phoenix, and the Bay. We love our new house. We just have questions. Oh, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Your State Farm agent oh. can help you through all the unexpected moments. I wish Bora Bora had a team. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. It's more than an attraction. It's a destination. Spend a day doing it all. Can we go for a ride? It's all here at St. Louis Union Station. Plan your visit at stlouisunionstation.com. Tonight's NBC legend is Missouri State's Danny Moore, a native of Shelbyville, Indiana. Moore led the Bears in scoring and rebounding for three straight seasons while earning first-team All-NBC honors twice. Moore capped his Missouri State career by leading the Bears to NCAA tournament wins over Wisconsin and Tennessee on the way to a Sweet 16 appearance in 1999. I just love being back home. I, I just feel like there's nothing like it. We have great people from St. Louis. Midwest nice is a real thing. You walk past a stranger, hey, how you doing? Those things go a long way, and I think that's really genuine. Bradley is out rebound at Missouri State, 27 to 13, on the way to a 47-35 lead here in the Valley. And today's State Farm NBC Scholar Athlete of the Game is Missouri State's Olivia Crabiel. A graduate softball infielder from Lee Summit, Missouri. Olivia is a three-time All-MBC and MBC Scholar Athlete Selection. Craig Beal has a 3.84 grade point average while pursuing a master's in business administration, earned college sports communicators academic all-district honors in 2023. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Bradley is hosting Missouri State today and it will be Bradley's basketball after our timeout. 15.50 to go in the second half. And the lob in for the man who saved the ball. Jonovic, here's a shot for three, and that's Hickman. That's his fourth three-point field goal. He has 14 points. The shoot around today, John. One of the things that Coach Brian Wardle was telling us about, I asked him, what's like the next level of progression for your team? And he said, I think part of it is the attention to detail and us getting the big plays we can off of those set pieces like under basket out of bounds and after timeouts. Got to be happy with the execution from Connor Hickman there. Offensive rebound by Benson off the Edwards miss. The hook pass inside. Benson, good hand. Oh, he, lost. he keeps the ball alive and around the lead. 
Good find. And the basket inside for Edwards. Good find by Austin Mason. Austin Mason has struggled a little bit, finishing around the rim. Still a willing passer. Did a great job that time finding Edwards underneath. Here's Dean. And we have a hold call. And that is on Matthew Lee, his first foul. And take a look at this. And, and Austin Mason navigating this screen. Gets one, goes the other direction as Zionovic steps up. That one could have been some contact, too, as Edwards taking that thing off of two feet. And do you call that a dunk, John, if you grab the rim and the ball just kind of floats up and then goes in? Does that, that count? It's up to you. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll give Cesar Edwards a dunk on that one. Going down with one hand. And a blocking foul is called on Lee, the second quick foul on Matthew. And after having none at halftime, now two quick ones, as you mentioned, John, for Matthew Lee getting targeted now as Bradley's trying to get some dribble penetration. The inbounds pass in heavy traffic and to the free throw line. And then Jonovic. And I really like Jonovic. He's, he's done a great job. A big body. He's a good athlete and does a good job with patience on the inside going up and trying to finish. He's had a couple good games in the last week or so for the Braves. Jonovic from Serbia. 7-1, 260, a sophomore. He had 15 points in 15 minutes at Balpo. And he has another free throw coming up here. Arch Madness 2024 tips off March 7th through the 10th. And the only place to celebrate before and after all the action at Enterprise Center is the NBC Fan Hangout at Ballpark Village. All you need to know about the Fan Hangout, download the Arch Madness app right now and join us in St. Louis. This one's in play for Univic. Nice high arc. Four points for Jonovic today. John, you mentioned 15 and 6 against Valpo. Had 11 points in the first conference game against Murray State as well. So Jonovic's introduction to the Valley playing well thus far. This is Mason looking for some kind of opening, but he's sealed off. 21 is Nick Kramer. Kramer shooting for three. Got it. And that's the first time Kramer's had his feet set. A good setup that time for Donovan Clay. And you see what makes this coaching staff so excited about the potential of Nick Kramer and his ability to knock down shots. Dean pass Mason. The bounce pass in for Jonovic. The rebound, Edwards. Yeah, just two big potties in there, isn't it? Mason is head up. The bounce pass. Oh, and out of bounds. Edwards couldn't grab it. Uh, the Missouri State offense has kind of been in fits and starts today, but when it's right, you see the versatility. Donovan Clay has a five-man Jonovic on him. He can get off the bounce, but he's also a really good facilitator. That time, the kick out to Kramer, showing some of the versatility. A nice knockdown for Kramer from three with his feet set. He's two for three from behind the arc today. The rest of the Bears, they're over 11. There's your dunk inside by Hannah. And the middle of this Bradley offense is wide open. And what does that do? Well, when you run screen and roll action, there's no help on the backside. Darius Hanna has been the beneficiary all afternoon. Here's play. That's a three ball. Edwards has 15. And Coach and Dane can score in a hurry. And we have a full timeout. Darius Hanna at 13 in the first half. And he put a little bit of extra on this one as Hickman was able to find him low and the Braves lead 54 43 in the valley. All I know is this lit right now. Go ahead and tell your friends. Just Businesses go further with 5G solutions. That's why they choose T-Mobile for business. PGA of America and T-Mobile are partnering on 5G-powered analytics to help improve player performance. T-Mobile's network helps AAA stay connected nationwide to get their members back on the road. And Las Vegas Grand Prix chose T-Mobile to help fuel operations for one of the world's largest racing events. Now is the time to see what America's largest 5G network can do for your business. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. <laughs> Even easier than this. I'll take Barkley. Yes, I still 
got it. I told you she'd pick me first. <laughs> yep, even easier than that. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Who says you can't get everything you want? Like going for bold without going broke. And staying true to your taste while staying on budget. Who says rising costs means lowering the bar? Settling? No need. Get the brands you want, the prices you want, whenever you want. TJ Maxx, where you can always afford to be you to the max. Not everyone's training for a gold medal. Not everyone wants to go hard or go home. Whatever you're starting, run your own race. Because doing something is everything. Get started with two months free. Visit OnePeloton.com. Terms apply. We're at 13.22 to go in the second half with the Braves leading the Bears 54-43 in Peoria. Today's Missouri Valley Conference scores and schedules. A presentation of Grinnell Mutual Insurance crossed in tomorrow. And how about Murray State winning at Evansville 81-59 and 14 today for Jacoby Wood. He had six assists. And we have Valpo playing at UIC at 7 central time at 6 o'clock central. SIU will be at Illinois State, not far away from Peoria. No, and how about the year Xavier Johnson has had one of the leading scorers in the country for Coach Brian Mullins. Just taking a big step. He's a great on-ball defender and now a lethal scorer as well. Now Bradley with a 54-43 lead and the ball. And Coach Dana Ford calling that last time out to get his defense back together as we see the travel. So getting a turnover, the 13th turnover for Bradley, but Coach Dana Ford not happy with the gaps he's seen in his defense. Wanting to get a quick timeout, get his team organized. Now with 13-03 and counting in the second half, the Bears get the ball to the front court. And a little bit of a zone look here for him. Bradley coming out of this timeout, disrupting anything Coach Dana Ford might have called in that last timeout. From the corner, Kramer, short. And that slapped out of bounds off Edwards to Bradley. Now Darius Hanna, over his last four games, has gone 18 for 25, including 6 for 6 today, 72% from the field. He had a season and career high 19 at Murray State in November, going 9 out of 10 from the field. And he also had a career high 10 rebounds uh, against Murray State. Right, that's part of the way, you know, you got to have those percentages. He's the leading field goal shooter in the Valley. You want to get that title, 18 for 25 is going to help do it for you. Hickman out front. And there's Hannah. And in on Benson. Look how spread the floor is, allowing room for dribble penetration. And Duke Dean saw him knock those down in the first half, just unable to finish. And Hannah with the offensive rebound. Now with the ball in his hands. And he throws it away. Here's Donovan Clay. In on Dean, and he missed the layup. Hickman on the outlet for Dean. A three short wouldn't go down for Davis. Now those are tough buckets. The Donovan Clay miss when you're down double digits have trying to, have to get them. back in a basketball game. But fortunate for Missouri State having Christian Davis unable to finish that one from the corner. Now Edwards stolen by Hickman and on Kramer Hickman with the left hand over the rim and down to Christian Davis. And Bradley continues to be quicker to loose balls. Christian Davis getting that extra possession. That's the difference in the game. It right is. Now. It really is. Hickman draws contact and he'll go to the line. Edwards fouling. The second foul on Cesar. And how about Connor Hickman? Unable to make it on the left side. Christian Davis gets a rebound. What do you do? Get the dribble penetration back to the other side. Look at this. Just smooth. Number 10 in white. Connor Hickman, the finish, the and one opportunity. 13 point lead for the Braves. For your Android or iOS device, right now and join us 
We'll see you in St. Louis for Arch Madness. And how about the non-conference we've had? Oh, sorry. Go ahead, John. Oh, look, he's, he's downloading now. He's looking at it. How about the non-conference that we've seen from the Valley? Ninth in the net rankings as a league. There could be a lot on the line in Arch Madness. Maybe a multi-bid league. A couple teams take care of business. Well, that's what we're hoping for. And a miss from the free throw line by Hickman. A 67% shooter. And Hickman has scored 16 today. He came into the game averaging 13.8 a game. Matthew Lee with the lob and the dunk for Benson. Lee with the assist. Benson has six points. And Lee playing Maestro. Great timing. That little hesitation dribble draws the defense. Floating that up for, for Benson. Probably the best pick and roll we've seen out of the Bears here in this second half. Kyle Thomas, number 24, is in the game for Bradley. Hickman on the outside. Davis Hickman long three rebounded by Benson Lee into the front court Clay stepping up and with a finger roll Clay has scored 11 in this one and just like that we're in the single digits just a nine point lead for Bradley Missouri State doing a good job clearing the defensive glass getting good looks at the rim on the offensive side and Brian Wardle wants to talk about it with the 56 47 score in favor of his Braves and part of the offensive side right just a little bit of patience look at the spacing and Matt Lee doing a good job taking that extra dribble right right there the hesitation and that extra dribble the float up to Benson the long arms of the law Benson throwing that one down and Donovan Clay just a match a nightmare six foot seven strong experienced grabbing that basketball with two hands saying the Bears are back in this one a 7 2 run for the Bears register to win an Arch Madness VIP package including all station tickets for the State Farm men's basketball tournament hotel accommodations and tickets to St. Louis area attractions log on to explorestlouis.com slash NBC contest where you'll get complete details and have a great time with Arch Madness 2024. And Missouri State is trying to claw back into this one. Now down 56 47 with 10 13 to go. So they have time. Plenty of time. To Plenty make of a time. run, make some stops. But well, let's see what Ryan Wardle has in mind after his timeout. And switching to zone here. The first time we've seen this look out of Missouri State. Again, disrupting the after timeout play. Now moving into more of a man defense. Dean with Birch on the outside. Birch with the nice. spin. Oh, what a move. Damarion Birch with his first field goal. And how about that? Just that the patience. Else. Yeah, from the freshman. And, and Lee rolling and shooting. He'll be on the free throw line. And we're going to take a look at Damarion Birch. And, and part of what makes Coach Brian Wardle so excited about this young freshman. He's got great explosiveness. That time, the one two step. And getting Edwards clear with the pump fake. And a good finish. And Lee will be on the free throw line. Dean picked up his third foul. Two shots here for Matthew Lee, a 79% shooter from the line. Lee played 30 minutes against you and I. Hit three points, going one for five from the field, and that was a three point field goal. Uh, Matt Lee had a really good stretch in the MTE was the tournament MVP for Missouri State just did a great job creating opportunities for his teammates and scoring was the Missouri Valley player of the week as well He's had a couple injuries have slowed him down a little but you see what makes him so special with the ball in his hands well he's had a bad wrist that kept him out three games and he returned to action on Wednesday against UNI and he went one for two from the free throw line a 10 point game and a whistle stops play with 927 to go in the second half. That's going to be the third foul on Rick Lee trying to work around that post up opportunity. Gets caught for a hole. And Lee with his third foul. The Bears have five team fouls to three for Bradley. There is Hannah. 
Coming off the bench, Mason will check in at the next break. And a uh, block by Edwards, and it's goaltending. Oh, and I don't know about that one. I thought Cesar Edwards, he definitely got that one before it got to the backboard. We'll see if that ball was on the way down. But how about the athleticism from number four in black? Connor Hickman putting that one up. And man, that's close. I feel like that's a pretty good block from Cesar Edwards. But it goes as a basket for Hickman, and he has 18. 60 to 48, Bradley. Mason at two points in the first half. And back to the zone look for Bradley again. Brian Wardle switching back and forth with this 1 2 2, trying to keep the Bear offense off balance. Here's Mason trying to create something, and he misses the three point attempt. Leon's with the rebound. Uh, to Hickman Mason has scored in double figures in all but one game coming into today he was mm -hmm. 0 for 6 against Kent State one out of nine today with that first half field goal and Austin Mason you mentioned has been great at times as Darius Hannah getting in the middle again and it's been rinse and repeat all game for the Bradley Braves Darius Hannah finishing at the rim Hickman with the assist here's Edwards short White jerseys around the basket, and it's Connor Hickman for Bradley. Hickman in the front court. And got the lead back up to 14 for the Braves. Here's Davis. And his fadeaway goes. Nine for Christian Davis. We talked about it earlier, John, the catch and rip through for Christian Davis. Successful again for Coach Brian. Getting number five in white downhill and forcing Dana Ford into another timeout as there's a 16 point margin here in Peoria for the Braves. Hannah scored a season and career on 19 at Murray State. With this, he has 17 today, helping the Braves to a healthy 64 48 lead over Missouri State. Businesses go further with 5G solutions. That's why they choose T-Mobile for business. PGA of America and T-Mobile are partnering on 5G-powered analytics to help improve player performance. T-Mobile's network helps AAA stay connected nationwide to get their members back on the road. And Las Vegas Grand Prix chose T-Mobile to help fuel operations for one of the world's largest racing events. Now is the time to see what America's largest 5G network can do for your business. I loved everything that I heard about Chime. I just didn't know how it would work without having a physical branch to go into. But Chime has more than 60,000 fee-free ATMs. So whenever I need cash out, I just open up the Chime app and click ATM app. I love the fact that I can go into any Walgreens and deposit cash for free. The best thing about Chime is being paid up to two days early. As the budgeter in the family, I wanna know where our money is, how much is being spent, and knowing those numbers is really important. Join me on Chime at Chime.com. So does back. Like, actually back. A twist? It's good for you this time. You deserve that mouth-watering swirl of bold flavor and refreshing bubbles without feeling bad about it. Because cravings aren't a crime, people. So no more hiding cans at the bottom of your recycling bin or sipping sparkling water with your burger and fries. It's time to love soda again. Like, right now. Because we're officially bringing soda back. The Pro Bowl games are back. And this year's stars show off their best moves as they compete in dodgeball, precision passing, and more in the skill show. Plus, the AFC and NFC meet again in flag football. Can Peyton and Eli Manning coach the league's best to glory? The 2024 Pro Bowl game. Skill show Thursday, February 1st on ESPN. And don't miss flag football and more skills Sunday, February 4th on ESPN and ABC. It's Bradley, 64-48, equaling the Braves' biggest lead over the Bears today, and we're in the second half. Our next NBC TV Network production, a presentation of Holiday Inn Express and Sweets Riverfront, will be Wednesday, January 10th, and we have a super-duper double-dip deep-dish dilly here for you oh. as we have the Drake Bulldogs playing host to the Indiana State Sycamores. And our coverage begins at 7 p.m. Central, and Adam will be on hand to analyze everything in Des Moines.
What'd you say about a deep dish, John? What did I do for deep dish double dilly? Okay. You. And we'll call 309 694 9800 to book your hotel rooms for your team's next game at Bradley or your next trip to Peoria, Illinois. And how about both Drake and Indiana State? Indiana State top 35 in the net. Had a chance at Michigan State mm -hmm. to close the year. Unable to finish that one, but that was a tight one and a tough game for Coach Josh Schertz. But both teams sitting at 3-0 and in the league. And as we talked about, I think a chance to both be at-large bids in the NCAA tournament if they take care of business in conference. Here's Clay with the ball for Missouri State with eight on the shot clock. Mason from downtown Peoria. And the ball goes out of bounds. Back to Bradley. And doesn't it feel like his threes have just all been a step or two deeper than maybe they needed to be? Austin Mason, you kind of highlighted his shooting so far. He's been great this year, was great against St. Mary's. A really struggling here. Hickman hitting the deck and a scramble for the ball. Hell ball. Tied up by Chance Moore. And the ball will go the other way and Austin Mason got his wrist rolled up on as he and Connor Hickman were going for that one a grimace on his face let's hope he's OK but Connor Hickman going to give him a pat just to make sure he's OK but that's just scary when you see the bodies roll up you see with offensive linemen and football right their knees with basketball players you worry more about wrists shoulders and elbows watch this as we get the deflection you see that right wrist of Austin Mason just got rolled up on Headed to the bench. Let's hope he's okay. So Lee takes his place on the floor. Lee with the ball right now, number 15. Bounce inside for more, and a three point attempt goes for Bay. And that really good offense. Get the ball in the middle of the floor. A quick kick out for a three. Hands ready, feet ready. Bay knocks that one down. Good offensive set that time against the zone for the Bears. Now we'll see what they can do on defense. Number zero is Birch. Taking the handoff from Hickman. Hickman lets it fly. Perfect. 21 for Hickman. Coming off 28, a career high against Valparaiso in 29 minutes on the road this past week. And that's taken away by number 35, Darius Hanna. Hanna all the way into the front court. The step back short on the shot by Birch. And it just feels like every time Missouri State's made a little mini run, it's been Connor Hickman there to answer. And that rolls in and out for more. The follow won't go for Benson. And normally you see the rim snap like that. That's a goaltending call. And I don't know if you could pick up the audio. Coach Brian Wardle yelling across the scorer's table trying to get the officials' attention. Fortune still has a 14-point lead. The feed low for Hannah. Get it! And from the handoff, a foul will put Hickman on the line. And again, I mean, who is it? Who is it? It's, it's Hickman every time making big plays when his team's in trouble. The 2024 St. Louis Cardinals season is just around the corner. Ticket packs and single game all inclusive tickets are on sale right now. So get yours at Cardinals.com. And next weekend is winter warm up. Wow. At Ballpark Village and the caravan is scheduled and so is a lot of snow. It's, it's coming <laughs> already. But that will help melt the snow. Yes. The baseball talk coming up. Is that how that works, John? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> 21 points today for Connor Hickman. He's over two from the line. Yeah, if we're going to nitpick, I mean, Connor Hickman, geez, you're making five threes, knocking down just his first free throw, but it's just the steadiness of having him on the floor, not only getting your defense set, but also on the offensive end, Coach Brian Wardle can do so much more to make this a multi-dimensional offense. Connor Hickman really the key to help unlock the Bradley Braves. Bradley picking up the loose ball. Dean to the front court for Birch. Four points for Demarion Birch. Turnovers one way lead to easy opportunities on the other side. With Clay driving, uh, 
foul is called. And it's, it's the defense to offense that has been so good for the Braves. Not only second chance points, which we've talked about, but getting turnovers, getting out in transition. How about the athleticism for Birch? Able to hang and finish that one with the left hand. And Duke Dean picking up his sixth assist. Sorry, John. That's all right. Yanovic with his third foul. Missouri State's ball. 5-13 and counting in the second half. With Clay working on Birch. And that's an offensive foul. Third foul on Donovan Clay. And a little bit of eruption from the Bradley faithful. Feeling like Missouri State's gotten a few of those whistles near the rim, but happy for the effort for Birch. Drawing that one right in his chest. And seven fouls on the Bears. Leons and on Kramer. That ball's going up and down. Malavai Leons with six. Now he's been quiet, John. He's been quiet kind of on both ends, but Malavai Leons just doing what he does. An overall solid floor game. Can score it, doesn't have to score it in bunches, but a constant deterrent on the defensive side. Here is Clay with the jumper. 13 for Donovan today, averaging 14-4 a game. 72-55 Bradley, 425 and counting. And Bradley happy to run a little bit of clock on the offensive side. Birch on the drive, and he got the roll. John, how in the heck did that thing sneak over the rim? How about the hard right-handed take to Marion Birch? Drawing the contact, left hand, a little bit of spin off the glass. Watch this. I didn't think this thing was going to get over the rim, and it just snuck, snuck, snuck right through to tickle the twine for Birch and one opportunity at the line. Well, he had a good breakfast today, yeah. and that's why he was able to make that shot, get that roll, and the free throw. You know, they say you got to start your day off on a good note. Must be the breakfast. Must be. Birch and seven all in the second half. Mason scores on the layup. Good to see him back out there. Yeah, good to see him back out there. Good point. Only the second bucket for Austin Mason, just four points. Dean. Mason is with him. There's Duke Dean using up some of the clock with 350 and counting. 15 on the shot clock. Uh, Duke Dean, a guy who hasn't been very active scoring, but how about seven rebounds and six assists? Has just done a masterful job helping move the ball for the Braves. Hickman with a three. I think he wants to be the Valley Player of the Week. 28 at Valpo, 25 today against Missouri State. Chance Moore is blocked as he gets into the lane. And the foul on Hannah. What a day for Connor Hickman. Open just enough, and it's all net. 78-57, Bradley. Oh, brother. Which brother? The older brother, duh. You're only older by a minute. Give me the best minute of my life. Guys, guys, break it up, break it up. Our son just needs car insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Your State Farm agent can help you choose the right coverage. Give me the ball, you my guys, guys. That was my ball. Guys, bring it up! Bring it up! Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hey sports fans, next time you are in need of lodging for the game, look no further than the Holiday Inn Express in East Peoria, located on the riverfront and 10 minutes away from Bradley University. This hotel is a comfortable night's stay. Offering all that you need, including a complimentary breakfast and indoor pool access. Located near the Bass Pro in East Peoria. Call or book online today. Today's Missouri Valley Conference famous alumni is Bradley's Major Robert H. Lawrence Jr. From Chicago, Illinois, he graduated from Bradley University with a Bachelor of Science degree in Chemistry at the age of 20 and distinguished himself as Cadet Commander in the Air Force ROTC, a senior USAF pilot. He was selected as an astronaut in the Air Force's Manned Orbital Laboratory Program in 1967, thus becoming the country's first black astronaut.
Missouri State made it a 56 47 game and then Bradley went on a tear hitting nine of the last 10 field goal attempts stretching the lead to 21 78 57 in favor of the Braves and that's the biggest lead today for Bradley but every time it looked like Missouri just might crawl back in and uh, make this close as we go down the stretch Bradley's had some kind of answer and and good defensive stand yeah absolutely and a big part is the guy that you see on the screen Connor Hickman our players of the game a presentation to State Farm proud partner of the Missouri Valley Conference like a good neighbor State Farm is there and as I said I think Hickman wants to be the player of the week in the Valley 28 against Valpo 25 today at home against Missouri State yeah and it, it's just it's been a steady hand John I mean it's a steady hand hitting shots at the right time making plays on the defensive side being a ball mover too, not letting the ball stick with him between he and Duke Dean Duke Dean four points six assists seven rebounds doing a great job controlling tempo for coach Brian Wardle. And Moore goes one for two from the free throw line for the fourth time today. And Cesar Edwards, our player of the game for the Bears, 15 points coming off his 25 point effort, a career high in 29 minutes against you and I on Wednesday in Springfield. Full court pressure applied by the Bears. Dean from the double team. And the law pass broken up by. That was broken up by Kramer, but saved there by Birch, who has nines. Oh, so close for the Bears on Kramer. Knocking the ball free. Yeah, almost a turnover. Just kind of the way this game has went, though. 50-50 balls go to the aggressor. The aggressor in this one's been the Bradley Braves. Lee picking up the dribble. Chance Moore guarded by Leons. And off Edwards' hands to Hannah. Showtime. Equaling his season and career high 19 points Darius Hanna he scored 19 at Murray State 19 today against the Bears and we've talked a lot about Connor Hickman but flowers go to Darius Hanna as well 19 points five rebounds really controlled this game in the paint well here's Kramer Leons after the Missouri State miss <laughs> Substitutions now with Davis, Hartke, Janovic in, and Kyle Thomas coming off the bench for the Bradley Braves. Now look at that full windmill from Darius Hanna, the big fella getting out in transition. Knowing how to put a nice cap on this one. A heck of a game overall for Coach Brian Wardle's team and really making a statement in the valley. Here's Birch. That's deflected, but saved there by Christian Davis. Eight on the shot clock. Two minutes to go in the game. Birch, the baseline jump. 11 on the second half for Birch, who averages 4.2 points a game. And you show see what his athleticism can do though. He's a tough cover. The lefty going hard to his left hand is Lee with the miss. Bradley back the other way, and the pass is deflected by Moore over to Ayers. And a dunk by Edwards. Give him 17. Boy, and Edwards not to be outdone with authority. 84-60, Bradley, 120 in county. And you know, John, I, I feel like this whole game was just going to be something that this Bradley team can help galvanize moving forward. I, I, I thought on the offensive end, just look more connected. And again, a big part of that is having Connor Hickman back in the lineup, but really purposeful with what Coach Brian Wardle is trying to do, getting the ball in the right spots. And I thought on the defensive side, did a really good job with the game plan, trying to keep things difficult and on the perimeter for these Missouri State Bears. And the basket for Thomas. Inside a minute to go. Lee watched by Kyle Thomas. Lee with a high arcing shot short. And there is Damarion Birch. Birch with 11 points today. 
A good second half for Birch, a really good overall game for Hickman and Hannah. Duke Dean controlling the pace, controlling the tempo, just a total team effort for the Braves. Hartke. Inside and Lee stripped the ball, but second chance opportunity won't fall for the Braves. Another chance. And now it's the Bears' ball with 12 seconds to go. Lee with the block shot there by Thomas, and time runs out. The Braves win this one 86 to 60. A physical game. Bradley led 42 28 at halftime and then one going away 86 60 and dominated on the boards. I thought Bradley a concerted effort to crash the offensive glass attack the rim and get those 50 50 balls and a nice home win for coach Brian Wardle and the Bradley Braves over a feisty Missouri State squad. It's a 10 and 5 record for the Braves 2 and 2 in the Valley 9 and 6 for the Bears and they are 1 and 3 in the Missouri Valley Conference. So we hope you enjoyed this one today. Good crowd here in Peoria and a big win for Bradley 86 to 60. Our next Missouri Valley Conference game of the week Wednesday January 10th the Drake Bulldogs play host to the Indiana State Sycamores. Our coverage begins at 7 p.m. Central. Now for Adam Emenecker and our entire Missouri Valley Conference crew. I'm John Rooney. Thanks so much for joining us as we say so long from Peoria Illinois. T-Mobile built a 5G network so powerful it goes beyond the expected. And now T-Mobile 5G internet for homes and businesses is here. Also here, 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 even here. Whatever shape your home or business is, T-Mobile is bringing high-speed internet to towns across America. Only 15 minutes to set up and just 50 bucks a month with no exploding bills for annual contracts. I avoided credit cards most of my life. But when I started to create a streaming platform for musicians like me, I knew it was important to build my credit to set my business up right. I heard about the Chime Credit Builder card and I signed up right away. I didn't have to worry about fees, interests, or credit checks. Within a month, my score went up. Now it's up over 100 points. I feel set up for success and so is my business. I tell everybody about the Chime Credit Builder card. Here we go. Check it out at Chime.com. The 2024 NHL All-Star Weekend is right here in Toronto, home of the CN Tower, standing taller than these guys in that. Unbelievable. Spectacular save. With cuisine tastier than moves like these. It's not real. If you show your best this weekend, you might end up here. That's hockey, baby. So welcome to Toronto. The 2024 NHL All-Star Weekend, February 2nd and 3rd on ESPN, ABC, and ESPN+. The Pro Bowl games are back. Right, this and this year's stars show off their best moves as they compete in...